Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about uh, design procedure of screw jack. So in this module, uh, the only uh, major uh, power screw design is the screw jack that we will discuss in this particular video. Uh, before moving to the uh, design procedure, we should be knowing what are the major components present in this uh, screw jack. Among all the major components, obviously the very important component nothing but the screw. I can able to see this screw and uh, this is the screw and uh, we have a nut and uh, this is a body uh, which is used to mount this uh, screw with a nut and above the screw we have a, a collar that is a nut collar and above that we have a head and you can able to see this over the head only the load usually will be kept and, uh, and uh, I mean to make sure the load is not uh, going down we have completely protected with a cup you can able to see this cup and uh, uh, there is a handle you can able to see this with the help of this handle only uh, the torque that is the effort will be applied whether to raise the load or lower the load and we have uh, many things to be uh, designed here we will see one by one first one is the core diameter of the screw our major uh, uh, like uh, focus should be more on the screw design only because uh, this body design this cup design or this handle design uh, which are the secondary design even if you make uh, a small errors so that will not directly affect on the uh, process but if you make mistake uh, in this particular screw design because this is the one which mainly does the actual work so we should be very careful with the design of these things so what are all the designs uh, which includes the screws means core diameter of the screw that is the DC you can able to see this the core diameter and DO is the nominal diameter is the outer diameter then DM that is the average diameter the main diameter of the screw and we have D1 that is the inner diameter of the nut and we have a D2 uh, that is outer diameter of the nut and we have D3 uh, diameter of the head the formula is 1.75 into outer diameter of the uh, nominal diameter of the screw then D4 is the diameter of the pin in collar D4 that is diameter of the pin in collar 0.25 into D3 then D5 uh, diameter of your body at the top so 1.5 into D2 then uh, D7 uh, so D6 inside diameter of the bottom uh, that is 2.25 into D2 and D7 outside diameter of the bottom that is 1.75 uh, uh, into D6 you can able to see what is D6 and D7 here and uh, small t uh, width or thickness of the screw thread uh, already when we discussed the thread profile there we discussed what is the uh, uh, thickness of the thread and which is nothing but 0 0.5 times of uh, pitch and T1 is thickness of nut head T2 is thickness of base that is 2 into T1 and T3 is the thickness of the body that is 0 0.25 into TO and H is nothing but height of the nut that is N into P and uh, L is nothing but uh, length of liver and the height of the head is equal to 2 times of uh, uh, capital T and uh, the height of the body is equal to maximum lift plus height of nut plus 100 mm that is 100 mm nothing but clearance so this clearance value usually uh, will be 100 mm but some p uh, some places they will give uh, 75 or 125 or 150 based on the uh, the size and the comfortness of the machine so the very first uh, step in the design procedure is the design of the screw where the direct compression stresses are induced in the screw due to the application of a load w so core diameter of the screw can be determined sigma c equal to w divided by pi by 4 into dc square in addition to the compressive stress the screw is also subject to the torsional shear stress for this increase the value of core diameter b referring the standard diameter standard table for the screw threads and again determine core diameter that is dc is equal to do minus p then torsional shear stress induced in the screw is nothing but 16 into t1 divided by pi into uh, d o cube so torque required to rotate the screw is nothing but t1 equal to w into tan of 5 plus alpha into dm by 2 check whether the principal stress is less than the permissible stress for safe dimensions of screw that is tau max is equal to 1 by 2 into square root of sigma c square plus 4 tau square and sigma c max is equal to sigma c by 2 plus 1 by 2 into square root of sigma c square plus 4 tau square second one is design of nut the threads of nut and screw are engaged to each other and there is relative motion between them under compressive load hence nut may fail for the bearing pressure so pb is equal to w divided by pi by 4 into uh, outer diameter square minus uh, uh, core diameter square into n so the number of threads engaged with the nut n is determined by above equation the height of the nut can be calculated by h is equal to n into p check whether the transfer shear stress in the screw or nut are less than the permissible shear stress for the safe dimensions of nut 
and uh, the allowable shear stress for the screw is equal to W divided by pi into dc into n into t and for the nut is equal to W divided by pi into d naught into n into t and the inner diameter d1 fails under tensile stress so sigma t is equal to W divided by pi by 4 into d1 square minus d2 square uh, and outer diameter capital D2 fails under crushing stress that is uh, sigma crushing is equal to W divided by pi by 4 into d2 square minus d1 square the thickness of the nut collar t1 fails under shear stress so tau is equal to w divided by pi into d1 into t1 then moving to the third design that is design of the lever so the total torque transmitted by the handle is t is equal to t1 plus t2 and p is p into l is equal to uh, t1 plus t2 that is t1 is nothing but w into tan of uh, friction angle plus helix angle into dm by 2 and for the uniform pressure t2 is equal to 2 by 3 into mu1 into w into R3 cube minus R4 cube divided by R3 square minus R4 square for the uniform pressure condition. Similarly, for the uniform wear condition, T2 is equal to mu1 into W into R3 plus uh, R3 plus R4 by 2 that is for the uniform wear condition. So handle may fail, undergo bending stress. So diameter can determine M is equal to P into L, which is equal to pi by 32 capital D H cube into sigma B. Then design of your toggle job actually, which is uh, uh, not included in the syllabus, but even uh, this design is also very very important. Uh, we will tell you it is almost very similar to the screw jack only, but uh, except to the small changes. What are the changes we will discuss here? So for the design of the screw, the total tensile force on the screw threaded screw W1 equal to 2 into F that is F is equal to W by 2 into tan theta. Direct compressive stresses are induced in the screw due to application of a low W. Core diameter of the screw can be determined. Sigma C equal to W1 divided by pi by 4 into DC square. In addition to compressive uh, stress, the screw is also subject to the torsional shear stress. So for this, uh, increase the value of core diameter B, referring the standard diameter table uh, for screw threads and again determine core diameter. So DC is nothing but DO minus P and DM is nothing but DO plus DC by 2. Uh, the torsional shear stress induced in the screw, tau is equal to 16 into T divided by pi into DC cube. So T is equal to W1 into tan of 5 plus alpha into Tm by 2. Check whether principal stress is less than the permissible stress for safe dimension of screw. According to maximum shear stress theory, tau max is equal to 1 by 2 into uh, sigma c square plus 4 tau square. And according to maximum normal stress theory, sigma c max is equal to sigma c by 2 plus 1 by 2 into square root of sigma c square plus 4 tau square. You can able to see even for the design of the um, screw jack also the same equations and all uh, we have followed. And moving to the next one, design of the nut. The threads of nut and screw are engaged to each other and there is relative motion between them under compressive load. Hence, nut may face for the bending pressure. That is, uh, bending pressure is equal to W1 divided by pi by 4 into DO square minus DC square into N. So, capital H is equal to N into P. So, T is equal to half of the pitch that is P by 2. So, number of threads engaged with the nut is determined by above equation. The height of the nut can be calculated by the same equation. And next one is the design of the pin in the nut. The shear stress is equal to F divided by 2 into pi by 4 into T1 square. So, from this we will be finding out what is the D1 value. So, that is nothing but design of the pin. So, with this we will wind up this video. And for solving the problems, we need not to worry much because all the values will be given directly. Just blindly we need to uh, use this equation as per the procedure. And there is no complications at all for solving the problems. And main thing is uh, just try to memorize all these uh, formulas and even the order of uh, solving the problem. That is also very, very important. Thank you.